Hello the Whovian Universe, this is the Whovian Wizard and welcome back to another video. And today in this video we are once again playing Minecraft Communities as we so often are on this channel on a Saturday at 7 o'clock. And today in this video we are going to be doing something, well, so we're not really like building anything in this video. Which is a bit of a change of plan because you may recall in the last video I mentioned we were going to be building a castle uh, for Puggles and Drake, two dogs. Um, that have been around in this world for longer than any of my dogs have. Um, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, and I probably am here, uh, but I believe the dog Puggles was owned by Laurie, and the dog um, Drake was owned by Mario. And we're going to, like be well i've already built them a castle essentially well i've already built them the outside of a castle and i thought so next video um is halloween yeah uh, halloween is in a couple of days time i'm not entirely sure what day it falls on this year because i'm recording this a couple of weeks ahead um in that video we're continuing our annual tradition of um the of watching a film in my cinema and i've made that film and everything uh, and it was all quite well done. I was able to do it all on my own, which I'm really uh, proud of because I didn't really have to ask for any help of anyone, which is really good. Um, just because then I don't really need to borrow anyone. And just around the place as well since the last video. I just added a few things. I decided it would be quite nice to just have a little bit of a path around here. I've extended uh, a little bit of a pond even down there. I've decided it might be quite nice to have like um a wider path going around here because it was three blocks along this side and then two blocks along this side um that was just because of the way that the terrain was so i've done a few little terraforming things nothing too drastic but today we are moving puggles and drake from their various locations around the map to their castle which i'm going to go and show you where it is now um it's by uh well it's by Laurie's estate and it's not 100% finished yet. You can just about see it poking over the thing. Um, I'm going to try and add some more vines to it. I'm going to try and make it look a lot more like um, Laurie's estate actually does. Just because like they one of them was his dogs and stuff. And Mario doesn't really have like a strict like um, building style. Laurie sort of did. So I've sort of built it like this as you can see. I sort of weathered up the front of it a little bit. Um, where you've got like uh, these crumbly bricks and the mossy bricks and stuff. Um, but then on the sides I haven't completely done that yet. And then the way you get inside. And this is going to be really annoying because I'm going to try and remember which button it is. And which place to stand on. Uh, yeah is this. Oh no. Oh no. Okay right so I need to stand on this one. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Okay, right. Okay, I need to. I need to obviously make a few adjustments to this redstone because otherwise I'm going to keep dying every time I go in there. And I did almost die then. However, that should be quite easy to fix because obviously, like, there are a fair few things just around my world that have similar doors to that. And I'm going to add a bunch of buttons on this wall and stuff. And then, yeah, so this is essentially just, like, going to be a courtyard area. Then we're going to have a big throne room here that I'm going to build, not in the next video because that's Halloween, but the video after that is going to be uh, building the throne room. Uh, so let me continue uh, just what I was doing and go up here. And I did not get trapped that time, which is very, very good. Because if I did, then that would be very, very annoying. So in here... We have a whole load of power rails. We have a whole load of regular rails. And I don't think we'll need all of these actually. But I thought it better be safe than sorry. Um, so obviously I've got my two minecarts. And I, um, <coughs> sorry about that. Uh, I think it might be best to start with Puggles. Because Puggles is slightly further away. But he's not like encapsulated anywhere so we don't have to break anything to try and get puggles out we do with drake because drake is currently sat in his uh, old castle in my old community which was a really small rubbishy castle that i built for him and i built it for puggles as well but like puggles for some reason got moved uh, i'm not entirely sure why and down there there's just a bit of a strip mine once again not entirely sure why um i honestly have no clue 
who did that, why they did that, when they did that, or any of that uh, stuff. Ooh, yeah. I forgot to tell you a thing. Um, I figured out how the new maps work. So I've got this map, which, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. So this is a map with the whole, just the main map on it, which is why it's called main map. Um, and essentially the way that you do these is you just make a regular map. It'll be smaller, like it'll be way more zoomed in. Um, but then you can, by using a cartography table, which Dr. Peterson happened to have and let me borrow uh, very graciously, um, to, uh, you combine it with paper in there to make like a bigger map. And that was really cool and I found that out and I was really happy uh, with that. And then up here, as you can see, I've got a giant map. This is the most zoomed out a map can possibly get. And obviously we've got loads of the really zoomed in ones. Um, but this is like a whole thing of not the the entire community world by any stretch. Um, just because there is a lot of community worlds. Um, but this is just like the main map, the map above, the map below, the map to the left, the map to the right, the map diagonals and stuff. So yeah, I just thought I'd uh, show you those because they were quite uh, interesting. I found them interesting anyway. And Puggles is in here. So I think how it might be best to do this is over here we can just push him uh, in a minecart. And I, the reason why I'm using a minecart and not a boat or anything is just because, well, why would I use a boat or a minecart or anything? Just because, like, uh, a boat, sorry. Because a minecart is very good for this sort of thing. And yeah, that's just pretty much the entire reason why. I don't really have a proper reason. And I'm thinking we might not actually need any power rails. We might just be able to do it like this. Then obviously if we run out of these, then uh, I can just break away the ones at the beginning and just block it off using some of the cobblestone I've got with me. So I think if we just carry on going over there, and there's our first stack gone. Um, then we'll just sort of wrap it along here. There's a little bit of a gap I missed. I can hear some zombies through the floor. I might go in, or maybe even drowned. I'm not sure. Maybe a baby zombie? I don't know. I don't know whether you could hear that because like, I changed the audio a little bit so it's a lot quieter for you. Otherwise, then you wouldn't be able to hear me speaking. And I know you all love my voice so much, so you wouldn't want to miss out on any of it. Like, if it could be louder, I would make it louder for you. But this is as loud as I possibly can. Um, so I'm going to quickly break away this. And then I think this might be a good idea to um, just sort of bridge this off like so. Um, and obviously the annoying thing is I have to destroy all this. And that's going to take a fair while to do. However, like I was thinking, I think in the last video I did say I was thinking of doing like a, a revive, reviving the community's extra thing. That was essentially just like a thing bonus to communities where I do little things like this. And... Uh, I just decided, you know what, um, might as well just have a little bit of a fun video. We're not really building anything, well we are building stuff. And let's face it, we're probably building a lot more than we normally would. However, um, this is like pretty good stuff to be building because it's practical. Like, this will then help us in the um, next video when it comes to the um thingy mcbob building the inside of the castle and hang on a second uh my dog licorice has just decided to go and bark i think she wants a wee um so i need to go and let her out quickly um i'll be back in just one second okay i am back uh so let me just go and quickly destroy this little cobblestone thing uh yeah and then we can get straight back on with this so, uh, I forgot where I was. What was I talking about? My mind has completely just been lost. Um, whoops, uh, let me just fill that in. What was I talking about? Uh, it's going to really annoy me now until I edit this video, which probably won't be for another couple of weeks yet. Uh, actually, I might make like a special effort to just edit this video sooner. And there we go, that track did turn back. Um, so, whoopsie daisy, I was worried that stuff like that was going to happen, however, uh, I think maybe the best action plan might be to go up, so like, I can't do it too steep, otherwise, um, the 
because I've got to push the dog up here. So if I do it too steep, then I might not be able to um, thingy uh, push the dog up all the way. Sorry, the fact that Licorice has decided she needs a Wii has completely disturbed my train of thought. Luckily, we are building train tracks, so maybe once we built this, the train of thought can get back on the train tracks. Don't know what I'm rambling on about anymore, to be honest. However, I think maybe should this be high enough now? Yeah, I think this should be high enough. And I think I'll try and get him through the back of the castle. Maybe just break a little hole in it. Uh, and then I, for the other dog, Puggle, uh, not Puggles, Puggles is the one that we're doing currently. Uh, for the other dog, um, what's the other dog's name? I forgot the other dog's name. That's really bad, isn't it? Um, Drake, that's the one. Uh, and then for Drake's, we can um, just link up the track from where he is. So we'll have to break a hole in the old community's wall, which is really annoying. Um, but it's okay though because I can always like Actually, I, I guess I could just push him like without a minecart onto the tracks and then put him in a minecart from there Like I do I'm like I'm not entirely sure Whether I will have enough tracks Cobblestone isn't really an issue. Actually, it might be yeah cobblestone might be an issue I thought I had way more than I did. I spent ages trying to gather all this uh, a lot of it was just in my chest anyway, but like I, I wanted to try and get some uh, more just for this video because I thought that might not be enough. And I think I did put some back in the chest, uh, in the chest full of stuff that we're using. Um, so I think maybe even zigzagging it at this point might be a good idea, just because it's far more direct. Then I guess this is actually taking up more um, thingy, isn't it? More cobblestone than needed. However, I think maybe if we uh, trail in again now, and then I can always, it's probably going to take, what, like three blocks to get us down from here? Um, so if need be, I've got six left. So uh, in a different stack, I mean, I've got 11 left in this stack. Um, so I think, yeah, I think that might be just try and get it over this water thing and then get it on the floor. And I am really worried now that we won't have enough um, thingy, enough uh, tracks, because I thought we'd have enough, um, one, two, three, hang on a sec, oh no, I've done this wrong, haven't I? Uh, I thought that we'd have enough um, cobblestone, but evidently not. So I think maybe if we go like this, and then we go boom and boom then we can just go along and add in all the tracks however like I did say even if we don't have enough tracks then I can just destroy the tracks um, from before and I've got to be really careful running along here the dog however should be fine because obviously he's in a minecart so he's not going to go far and there's just a random bit of wood in that tree and like it's not well, yeah, of course, wood's in a tree. It's a tree. But you, you know what I mean? It was the uh, planks, not the uh, logs. Just a random bit of plank just on the tree for some reason. However, we are really picking up speed now. I was expecting this to take way longer than it actually has. However, I don't really want to speak too soon because this could all take a turn for the worse if, like, one thing goes wrong. And I'm being slower because I wasn't sure where the corner was. And I had visions of myself just like going straight off the edge. And this is going to be the bit where it's going to be difficult to actually try and push uh, Puggles and Drake along. Otherwise, like, it could get, well, not dangerous, but like, it could be a bit, um, like, dangerous for me, not necessarily them. Um, and even if they do die, well, no, even if they do fall, sorry, then they won't die. That's what I was trying to say. And if I do die, um, then I can respawn. It's just the dogs. I don't want the dogs to die because they are old dogs. They are like really old dogs. Like the community world is what, five years old next year? Like four and a half years old now. So like they, they've been there, especially Puggles. Puggles is a really old dog. 
Uh, like, literally, you can ask anyone that's been around in the community world for a fair while. They will tell you that Puggles is an exceptionally old dog. Um, and I think if we... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That terrified me. That genuinely terrified me. Just wandering around that corner to find a creeper. And there we go. The creeper has been dealt with. Any more mobs? No, there are no more mobs. However, I think it might be a good idea to try and block this off a little bit. Uh, maybe if we do it like this. And then, uh, what's in this? This is just a random... I can't open it. Uh, never mind, though, because I'll pick that up and open it again in a minute. But for now, I'll just leave it down there. Um, just to stop anything from happening with the dogs because otherwise it could be a skeleton or something and he just shoots them and if I can't uh, kill him in time then he'll just keep shooting the dog and yeah it's there are many things that could go wrong um, so I think uh, Puggles' track is now pretty much complete so I think we're gonna go and run down here um, just like so I, like, I was really expecting to take some fall damage there even if it wasn't that much just a little bit. Um, just to uh, yeah, get Puggles inside his new home. Uh, I really did want to do something big for these dogs. Just because. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. I've referred to the smaller castle quite a lot in this video so far. And I mean I'm sure a few of you know what I'm on about. Uh, especially if you've been watching uh, this series for quite a while. Or even just you've seen it. Like when I've gone back here and stuff. There is a lone horse up there on the thing. And is this a sign that randomly says QWERTY? Yeah, it's just a sign that says QWERTY. That's the QWERTY tree now. Um, so I think, actually, I've ran... I don't have any blocks. So actually, shouldn't need any blocks. If I do a quick... Um, boom. And then if I do a quick... Puggles get in. Boom! Puggles is in! Oh no, wait, Puggles is hurt. Hang on. Uh, he should be fine for now. Oh no, don't go flying. Uh, if I can find any meat anywhere, then I'll give him some meat. There might even be some meat in that shulker box. That might not be a bad idea. What about in my ender chest? Um, no, no food in my ender chest. Uh, got a fair few cool things in here, though. I forgot, I forgot all about that ender chest, to be honest. There we go. I've got some rotten flesh. It's probably not the healthiest thing in the world for the dogs. However, oh my god, he's all the way over there. Don't come bouncing back. Don't come bouncing But No, don't walk straight through me. He seems to just be having a whale of a time right now, doesn't he? Um, there we go. He is now perfectly fine, and he loves me now. I mean, I'm not his original owner. However, I can make him feel welcome inside the community. And I'm really hoping that, like, the fact that, like, I'm trying to save this dog. And, oh, no. There we go. Even if he does come back now, then he can't, like, go very far. Because he's just going to go bouncing back there. Uh, oh, no. I keep running through him. This is actually way more... Uh, hold on. If I get you back on the tracks, then... No, dog. Get... Oh, I can't... I can't put you on a lead. Okay, that's a bit bad. I thought I could put you on a lead. But apparently not. Um... So I think if I just run around with a pickaxe and a big landmark, well not big landmarks, but like you know what I mean. Like every now and then just break away the tracks. Then if I push you up here, then there we go. And then I'll break away this so you don't go falling back down again. Um, and then I'll just push you. No, no, no. <laughs> Dog, don't go all the way back. There we go. Wait, you just bounce back on him on his own there. Stop. Stop. Dog, stop. Uh, okay, wait. He seems to be fine. So if I push you slowly back onto the tracks, then hopefully... No, dog. No, no, no. That's not what you're supposed to be doing. Puggles, you have to be cooperative. Otherwise, this could go very badly, especially in a minute. You're going to be going very high up. And oop, there we go. Nope, nope, nope. No, no. <laughs> Alright, let me try and... Oh, no. What have I done, then? Um, there we go. He's now going up here. There we go. He's now going up there. There we go. He's now going along here. Look at his head. Alright. He's gone up a little bit. He's gone up a little bit more. 
There we go. And then down here, he should be able to just go on his own. Uh, can he? No, he can't quite get up. Uh, oh, no. Dog. No. Puggles. Puggles. Puggles, stop. Stop in the name of the law. Okay, stop. But that was just because he couldn't go any further. Right. Go, go back. Go back, Puggles. There we go. Um, I think maybe if I break it away here. Ooh, that was close. Maybe just decapitated Puggles. Don't worry, Puggles. You're safe with me. Ignore the fact I just nearly decapitated. No! Come back! Stop going zooming off in the opposite direction. Oh, no. Get on the tracks again, Puggles. There we go. Back on track now. Oh, no! <laughs> This is what I was expecting to happen. I literally just made a comment being all like, oh yeah, this is take this is way easier than I expected it to be. And no, Puggles won't cooperate. Just cooperate, Puggles, or this could go badly. Right, if I just sort of push you up here, then I'll break away this. Um, and then I'll slowly waddle with you up there. Uh, waddle with you up here. And then, can I get you up here? I can break away that. Oh, no, there we go. I think I need to stop to stop the minecart, otherwise I just end up running straight through it. So I need to bear that in mind. And here is going to be an absolute nightmare. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious me. No! <laughs> I, just, I just saw the dog go whizzing past. Just having the most fun in the world. Puggles, this is not a ride. Well, I guess it could be a ride. Should I just leave this here and have it like a ride where just mobs can hop in the minecart and just go whizzing around the place? I'll tell you what might be useful here is putting a few of these down. I thought I might not need them, but like I might be wrong and I think I was wrong. Um, so if I just go like this and I just break away a few of these, then these might be enough, I'm hoping. If I do one lever down there. This would have been a hell of a lot easier if someone hadn't des des uh, destroyed the sky rail. Definitely wasn't me that made that idea. However, um, in hindsight, hindsight is a wonderful thing. And there we go, he is whizzing. He is absolutely whizzing. Yeah, but then over here, I'm just going to break away this. And then it's all down from here. So he should be fine, just with the occasional nudge from me, to just keep on going. Uh, and please don't nudge me off, I literally just said that, Puggles. But it's fine, I did not die, I am on lower health though. So I'm just going to have a piece of pumpkin pie, and then I'll be perfectly fine. So I think if I go and jump up here, um, don't have any blocks on me because I use it to build this. Um, I've then got to go up here, and up here again. And then I've got to go up here, break away this, and boom. That was, like, the most hassle I've ever had to try and climb a tree. Because, like, in case you haven't noticed, not very good at climbing trees in Minecraft or real life. And, oh, my goodness, this is actually surprisingly easy to get them across. I was expecting that bit to be the hardest part, but no, the hardest part was the bit where he goes up. Um, and then down should be fine. Oh, no. Boom. Okay. I did not mean to leave a gap there and I thought I had visions of him going in there and drowning that would have been so terrible if that happened because I had literally nothing to block it off with if he fell in there then he would be a goner right Puggles this is your new castle you're going to be worshipped here forever and now it's time to go and get Drake um <laughs> Oh my goodness, that took a lot of doing. So I think it might be worth even just editing the track very quickly, just to add a few more power rails. I might just add a power rail there. Um, just so then, like, I think if he goes across this power rail, then he will be able to just whiz by himself to the end. Um, and then maybe even... I obviously can't add it along this diagonal bit. But along here, maybe? Just if I put this there... Um, and then add a lever to the side of it. Nearly just fell off again. Um, then add a few along here. One, two. I thought it could only power three, but it powered four down there. Um, so maybe it does power four. And maybe I was just wrong. 
Uh, or maybe it's just because it's on a slope or something, so it's got slightly different rules. Uh, no, apparently not. Apparently it does powerful. Or it might be because three in this direction and one in this direction. I don't know. I do not know. However, uh, I have a hunch. So I think maybe instead of where these gaps are, it's just putting power rails there. Um, it's just to help him up. And then obviously once he... Um, I don't know why I did that. Um, it's just put that along there. Uh, and then obviously once he gets going, he will just keep on going. Um, and then obviously down here, which is whiz up. Then I think I'll need a few just along here, like this. Then I'm really hoping he doesn't go up here, then goes back down. Just because then it, that'll send him whizzing in the opposite direction. And then I'll have to run to chase him, which would be exceptionally annoying. Um, but then I think if I add one here, and then I'll just add a normal rail here. Uh, I don't really need my shovel, so I can have all of them in my hotbar. So I'm going to keep switching between them. Then over here, I'll add one. And then over here, and let's say here as well. Uh, just to be safe, I'll add one. Yeah, and then I'll add a normal one there. I'll add two here uh, for no real reason. But then I'm hoping this will give him enough of a boost. So then when he gets up there, uh, he'll still be going strong. Um, and this is when he goes down. Um, this is when he goes down here. This is when he goes... Uh, actually, yeah. This bit here, I'm going to then uh, add some of these powered rails in. Otherwise, then that could uh, be exceptionally annoying to try and do. And then I'll go over here and I'll destroy these two. I'll go along here with the uh, powered rails. And then I'll go here and here with the powered rails. And then here and here. I've started adding two. No real reason for that. And I only added one over there. However, there's no real reason for that. I just thought it would work. So I'm even thinking maybe if I put this over there. So actually maybe if I do a quick power rail over here too. Just because... Oh, that's not power rail, is it? Uh, but just because when when they're going, like, especially when it's on um, zigzag sort of things, they do go a lot slower. It takes a lot of momentum off. And that doesn't work there, so I'll put it there. Just like so on that cobblestone block. <coughs> and there, obviously, it will just be going uh, downwards. So I obviously need to remember to replace this. Otherwise, um, then, yeah, that could be very bad. But this is his little castle on the other side of the hot air balloon. Um, it's just because, like, this I thought this was adequate for the doggos. But obviously, now I have very different ideas. And you saw his tail poke through, or at least I saw his tail. You might not have done. And hello, Drake. Um, might even add a name tag to Puggles. I know that wasn't, like, part of his original thing. But, like, it might just be handy to have. If I do this, then boom. Let's go. Let's go, Drake. Oh, no. He's on weak health, too. Uh, I don't have anything with me, though, so please just don't die. Otherwise, Mario is going to be exceptionally angry at me if I end up killing her dog. Uh, and I really don't want to uh, make her annoyed at me. So I'm not going to um, kill you, hopefully. I'm, well, I mean, I wasn't trying to kill you anyway. And this, I think... What's mucking you up here, then, doggo? I think it might work like that. And I've got to run all the way around again. I just go and push you through here. Why are all these dogs so hurt? Like, I haven't seen any of these dogs in such a long time. Okay, there we go. Now he's through. I think it was he was bumping into the hot air balloon. So that was sending him backwards. Oh, no! No! Drake, you got to play ball. you got to play ball. This isn't even going up or down anything. This is just a straight line. What's so wrong with a straight line? Nothing's wrong with a good old straight line. I didn't even touch you! Alright, let's just change all these to power rails. Uh, along here. It's just because I'm getting very frustrated right now. Um, so hopefully. And then if I do over here as well. Into power rails. Then hopefully that will work a little bit better. And I hear you, Drake. You keep barking. But you're being moved whether you like it or not. Because, like, I'm doing this for your owner. Because she wants you to be moved into a castle. And you're being moved into a castle, right? 
even if you don't like the castle. There we go. He has gone whizzing off. And I'm actually slightly curious to see whether he'll make it all the way to the castle on his own. Uh, wait, where is he? <laughs> I've lost a dog. Runaway dog. Uh, all I need to do is really follow the tracks until I find him. But, yeah, I think... I think he might have made it all the way. Or he might be stuck on that zigzag bit. Because, like I said, that does take a lot of momentum off. Unless he's pushing forwards, which obviously he isn't. Because he doesn't really know what he's doing. Um, and then he is not going to be best off. Um, however, he's not there. I think that was like after the initial rejection from him. After my little pep talk about going to live in a giant castle. He's accepted it. He has just gone with it. And you know what? I'm fairly sure I know why. He, he's been living with a sheep in there. And I'm fairly sure he's made friends with that sheep. And so I'm going to go and try and get this sheep here. And... Oh, that was so dangerous. I thought he just hit Puggles. However, no. I was very, very careful. And now I've got to do the same thing to Drake as well. But he's really hurt. This is going to be a whole ordeal if I accidentally kill one of them. Especially Drake. And Puggles because he's the oldest. Um, but they both have places in my heart. Even though they weren't my dogs. So I'm going to go and rescue the sheep. Because... <laughs> I'm fairly sure that's why he didn't want to leave. And also this is quite fun. Just sending animals off. He's making them whiz around. The only issue is. is Hopefully the sheep hasn't escaped. Because the sheep might have escaped. He said they just leave a giant hole. In his old castle. And my community. Which means he could have just wandered off. And I left the door open. That probably wasn't a very smart idea. There's a wandering trader over there. Oh my goodness. Do you reckon. I could lead a group of a caravan of llamas just like steal them oh no the sheep's gone the sheep is gone wait wasn't that like i can hear something i reckon that's a sheep um sheep oh my god sheep <laughs> wait oh my goodness why are there so many animals down here trapped in mine carts right sheep we're getting you out. We're busting you out of here. Hello, sheep. Um, so, right. So, Drake didn't want to leave you. So, I'm taking you with me. Um, now, you see, this may be a bit of an issue. So, I'm reckoning, if I get you into this minecart, that was pretty easy, actually. I was expecting that to be much more difficult. And then, oh, no. Oh, no. Right, okay. So if I do this, and then before I add the tracks to that, then I'll make this go up slightly. Just like so. And then up there, I'll get this out. And then I will... Uh, I need to put down a powered rail where you are right now, sheep. Because I'm running out of regular rails anyway, so I need to save those when I need them. Um, but then I think if I just get rid of this and then I'll put this over here and then I'll just send you whizzing off down there and I'll add the, whoops, and then I'll add these linking you up with this track and don't want to link up? Really? There we go. We are looking pretty snazzy right now if I say so myself. And oh no, I sent the sheep back in the wrong direction. Right, sheep, I don't know what you're doing down here. Don't know who trapped you down here. However, you are going back to go and visit Drake and Puggles in their new home. And that was the end of the animal journeys. Because that is a hell of a lot of fun. But I don't ever want to do it again. And now I've got to go and destroy all these tracks. Which is going to take ages. And I bet I'm going to break my pickaxe or something stupid trying to do it. Um, and I'll go and feed Drake as well in a minute. I just want to see if there are any other animals. I'm fairly sure we've gone massively over the um, normal communities videos length. But I have had so much fun trying to record this. It's been so frustrating. It's been so angry. Anger making. It's been very annoying. I'll give it that. However, it's also been exceptionally good fun. And yeah, uh, I wouldn't change it for the world. Actually, I would. Uh, yeah, I, I probably would change for the world. 
but it was quite an interesting experience. So I wish I had another minecart with me because then I could actually, you know what? You know what? I don't even care if I don't have another minecart on me. There's a whole storage room that's just full of goodies that's no one stolen, or at least no one stolen to my knowledge. So you know what? I'm going to run back. I'm going to make a thing near the minecart. I'm going to mine. I'm going to ride this minecart track by myself because no one is there to push me. So I'm just going to do it on my own. And I really hope there's at least like six iron over here. If there's not six iron, I'm going to be so annoyed uh, because I was saying came so close. I'm fairly sure this used to be the ore chest, woods, uh, building materials, agriculture, items, uh, anything in there, mobbly aggro. Ooh, it's just a furnace full of smooth stone. No, there's none in here. Right, let's go to my old house. I don't care if this kills me. I'm going to ride this minecart in this video. We're already over the half an hour mark, I believe. So it doesn't matter if I spend ages doing this and it doesn't end up going anywhere. And boom, I knew I kept this chest here for a reason. Uh, I think that's, I think you need six. Yeah, if not, then I can just go and grab some more. I can make a shield if I want, not going to though. Uh, where are the minecart tracks? Probably where the minecart track logo is. And they were. Then thank you old house for being there when I needed you. And then I think what I'll do is I, I do just to be fair, right? Just completely aside from what I'm on about now. I do to be fair really enjoy visiting this community because like I've got so many memories attached to it. It is just quite nice to go through it and just like visit it every now and again and boom we are here we are riding my minecart track that i spent so long trying to um create and this is th this is actually to be fair oh no wait hold up what happened to the sheep wait that's the sheep's minecart wait is the sheep dead wait oh my goodness is i really hope the sheep's not dead oh no the sheep's dead isn't it the sheep is dead. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Drake. I tried to... I tried to get the sheep back. Right, before I try and hit you out of your minecart, because your owner is going to be very, very annoyed at me, and don't want your owners to get annoyed at me. So I'm going to quickly, um... try and find some food for you in here. Pork chops, perfect. With some random iron armor and a saddle. Don't know why... I don't know why I just have that in my pocket. Just a shulker box with that random stuff in it. Because that, like, that that right there is quite ridiculous. But there we go. And he is now slightly more healthy. And there we go. Drake and Puggles. Safe and sound in their new home. So, I think that is an end to this video here. We gained a castle. Well, no. We gained a castle out of video because I had to build it. But we gained two dogs inside a castle. We lost a sheep. Who shall hear for... Henceforth, not here forth, um, be known as Special Sheep 2. Because sadly, we did lose Special Sheep a couple of weeks ago. Um, I would like anyone that has watched to this point to leave a comment saying, Oof, Special Sheep. Because it means a lot. The Special Sheep means a lot to me and everyone on this community world. And sadly, he did pass away. For, through no fault of my own. So, uh, I mean... Yeah, uh, thank you for watching the next video. Be online next week. As always, the link will be in the description once it is. Goodbye.